the F4 series is really geared at the guys coming from karting and their first step into cars. And uh, as you can see, if you look through our field, a lot of our drivers have a, have a karting pedigree or karting champions in various series. Well, I actually came straight out of karting. I raced in the Briggs & Stratton LO206 karting series. Um, and then when I was 16, I hopped into my F4 car for the first time. It's primarily aimed you know, at, the, at the karting kids that want to uh, jump into a professional program you know, right out of the bat. And uh, it's a very affordable program and uh, it's a great transition from a, from a tag cart or a shifter cart you know, into a uh, open wheel car. Well, for me, I think this is probably the best route for myself because I've always done a Honda, Honda ladder system, whether it was go-karts, or uh, F1600 and now F4, but uh, really the biggest key part was the uh, the price structure. The car itself is uh, like 45,000. They do an engine lease from Honda. Uh, we manage the uh, the engine, and that's 6,600 a year. Uh, you know, a set of Pirellis is like a th you know under a thousand dollars. So uh, you know, the cost itself for the car is very very affordable. We are spending almost that in go karting. Uh, you know, we traveled a little bit more in the karting, and I think that's a big travel expense, but they've condensed it. They've done a very good job, the SCCA, of having three races per weekend, uh, enough track time. The drivers are all, we come out of a race weekend feeling like we got our money's worth. It's a very affordable series for the amount of track time that you're getting. I think we're getting close to four hours this year, uh, this weekend, and there's a lot of competitors here. I think we have close to 30 competitors, which is a great field for us. The competition is, is pretty stout and the racing, you get triple headers, so we get a lot of track time against a lot of good guys. You have a lot of young drivers who are coming out here trying to make a name for themselves, and there's 30 plus cars at the first event, so that's probably the biggest thing. And uh, we're now running here with uh, IMSA and F1. F4 is really attractive, not only from the competition standpoint, but also just the partners involved. There's a lot of support from Honda, uh, Onroak and Pirelli um, and having series partners like that who have a pedigree in racing. It's a new car, it's a safe car, carbon tub, paddle shift, new technology. It is a FIA certified car so it's very very safe. You know that is a critical element of this program. Jumping from carts to cars is definitely a hard transition because uh, you have a little bit of aerodynamics now in carts but you don't have the, the, um, the suspension and everything which is probably the hardest part because you have to really learn how to allow the car to roll. Every driver that has come from karting, when they get in the F4 car says, well, things are going so much slower, I have a lot more time than a go-kart because in the karting you're in a corner 90% of the time. You have to be very more precise than you do in a go-kart. A go-kart, you have the horsepower to pull you out of a corner if you make a small mistake. But with one of these cars sitting behind me, if you make a small mistake, you might lose three, four, even five tenths in a corner. In carts, everything happens so quick because you're like a quarter of an inch off the ground and everything's blowing by you. But in cars, with the suspension and everything, heavier cars, you just have to really slow your hands down. That's absolutely true, yeah. The, the less you do, the better. The more the car works. If you're in the corner and you can just kind of hold it there, you can feel the car really work with the suspension. Uh, with a lot of new challenges like standing starts and things like that, so it's just another great learning experience for me to go through. The drivers have to go uh, through an educational process as well, so they are required to have 10 hours of training. The Safest Fast program is fantastic. That's one of the library of resources that they can go to, and they can pick from what curriculum uh, format that they would like to look at. One of the best things about Safe as Fast is that it's all real racing drivers or team owners or something like that. We can watch the videos and then we write a summary about what uh, what was in the videos and it's a great, great tool to have. It's FIA certified series which, which I think attracts a lot of young drivers uh, who want to have a European or an F1 career. So they want to start working on their FIA certifications already. With the FIA uh, designation, these kids actually can learn FIA super license points. So uh, that is a very valuable thing and it's the only program here in the States that offers that. For the price point and what you get out of the series, there's nothing that can beat it. It's one of the best series out in the country as of now. It's just an outstanding series.